Hey everyone, how is everyone doing? It's uh, Sunday night, evening, EU, Sunday EU, and I'm going to do a little cooking, uh, so I just wanted to do this video. I went to, uh, I went to uh, Whole Foods after I uh, worked for a few hours in uh, Williamsburg, actually, in Brooklyn, and then uh, I got this amazing lamb, so I'm going to do, as you can see, uh, I got a rake of lamb from New Zealand, and uh, so I'm going to basically gr uh, do a grilled uh, lamb uh, chops, you know, grilled lamb chops, and uh, and uh, I'm going to first marinate it. Uh, so for marination, this is what I'm going to do. How is everyone doing, by the way? Yeah, I did my video podcast last night, uh, Saturday night, which I'm going to upload. And uh, you all will uh, see it. So let's just uh, start the marination process. So what, what I'm going to use for marination is, as you can see, you know, uh, make sure to remove the fat. I removed most of the fat from the uh, from the chops. And then um, I'm going to marinate this first with uh, some amazing organic olive oil as you can see, which my sister got me from Spain, because she went to Spain on a mission. Uh, she worked for the United Nations, so she uh, she got me this amazing olive oil, so I'm gonna just uh, uh, have the olive oil, uh, I don't know, maybe two, two tablespoons, and then uh, on top of that, I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do lemon juice, fresh lemon, like a half of a lemon, right? Hold on a second. So take half of the lemon, right? I think I have the lemon squeezer somewhere. Let me see. Hold on a second. Captain, where is it? Oh, here. Here it is. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna use the squeezer. As you can see, put this in the uh, in the squeezer, right? And then just basically squeeze the lemon, and all the juice basically gets poured, as you can see. So that's good enough. And uh, so I'm going to remove the uh, rest of the lemon, and then. Uh, on top of this, I'm going to do, for marination, I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric, which is good for your stomach, apparently, as you can see. Uh, a little bit of uh, coriander, as I always do. Well, you can use uh, whatever you like uh, for marination, but this is what I like. Coriander, a little bit, as you can see, not too much. And then I got uh, the parsley, dried parsley. As you can see, so that's dry parsley, and then I got, I actually got this today, it's a garlic and herbs, garlic and herbs, so basically, dry garlic and dry herbs, obviously, right? Oh shit, hold on, hold on, I need to remove the, damn it, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that I had to remove this freaking, what do you call the seal? So remove the seal. Right, bear with me. I apologize. Okay, now put the thing back on and then just uh, simply. Uh, However you want, however much you want. I'm, I'm not going to use the other garlic because this this has already has the garlic. And then on top of this, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. On top of that, I'm going to have the fresh um, fresh black pepper. You know, as you like. And then I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use the. Uh, the, the ground sea salt, ground sea salt as you can see. So 
So as you can see, the marination process is underway. So salt as uh, you know as you like. <clears throat> not too much, not too little. You know moderation. All right. So so basically uh, that's it. And then uh, what you do is you basically mix all this up, right? In here, as you can see, you mix it. You mix all this. Evenly, you know, make sure that the whole meat is marinated, marinated, as you can see. Right, okay, so that, there you go. And then just let it marinate for maybe, let it marinate for maybe five to ten minutes. Although if you do it overnight, that's even better. Oh, I also had a little bit of like crushed bay leaf, which if you, I think you, you, you all saw that in the... Uh, in the container where I'm marinating these, so just leave these, right, for five to ten minutes. And uh, meanwhile, I got, uh, you know, the grilling pan, and then I'm also going to do a little bit of uh, wedges, steam slash uh, boiled. Uh, and then uh, for that, I'm going to do simply. Uh, I'm going to turn on the the uh, the flame. As you can see, I'm going to turn on the flame on the veggies. Okay, so it's on, you know, medium. As you can see, I don't know if you can see or not. Yeah. And then I'm going to add for veggies, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt, right? And a black pepper, just bear with me. Black pepper, and that's about it. And uh, let the veggies uh, cook for maybe like five to seven minutes, not more than that. You don't want your veggies to be, uh, you know, uh, overcooked. Also, I, I, I have, as you can see, I have a pot with uh, water. I'm going to turn this on. And uh, here I'm going to boil uh, some amazing pasta I have, fettuccine, as you can see. Um, and then I'm actually going to use the pizza sauce I got today from Whole Foods for, uh, with pasta. Just a little bit, not too much. All right, so uh, while all this is happening, I'm going to turn on the uh, I'm going to turn on the flame on the uh, grilling pan, as you can see, and uh, you know medium, and then. Uh, once the water actually operates, um, it takes about a few minutes for this to actually, um, for this to heat up. And then I'm gonna keep it on low, I'm gonna keep it on low, uh, what do you call, uh, low flame until uh, five to 10 minutes when the lamb is ready to be grilled, right? There we go. So we're gonna, we're gonna wait for the water to, to, uh, what do you call the, we're gonna wait for the water, for pasta to boil, and then we're gonna add pasta. This is about two cups of water. You know, we'll drain this, and the pasta is cooked for about three minutes, alla dante, but I'm gonna cook for maybe four minutes, because I don't really like alla dante. All right, so uh, as soon as I'm at the next stop, and then I'll uh, be back. Hey, I'm back, so basically the, uh, the pan is ready, it's hot enough, so I'm gonna rub a little bit of olive, uh, olive oil to keep the uh, to keep the lamb from um, getting stick. You don't want that. So I'm gonna just rub a little bit of olive oil on top of the surface of the grilling pan, as you can see, just like that. And then simply, simply have the lamb Start grilling. Holy grill, man. Looks so good, right? Looks really, really good. And just pour, pour the, what do you call the, uh, the marinade over the lamb a little bit. Right there. Right there, as you can see. And then make sure to have flame not too high. I'm gonna go over the flame a little bit. And then I'm gonna just, just keep this cover, right? Keep this covered 
so that it gets cooked. And then I'm also going to cover, you know, unfortunately I don't have the covers for these, uh, for these pans. Oh, the alarm went off, hold on a second. Okay, so I turned on the, uh, the, uh, the fan at full speed, as you can see. Hey, everyone, I'm sorry, I apologize. I had to turn off the, uh, the what do you call, the, uh, the, the, the smoke detector. So basically, pasta is ready. As you can see, water is boiling. So I'm just going to add pasta as uh, I like it in the quantity. As you can see, this should be good enough for one person, right? And uh, we have to turn the lamb in in few minutes. So basically, you're gonna cook the lamb. I would say for six minutes, not more than that. So you get your uh, spatula or your tongs, right? Just give me a second and to clean these. Oh, by the way, I also added uh, some salt to uh, pasta, as you can see. And the, uh, the veggies are looking good, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to cover these as well, so that they're steamed, they're not really boiled. So I'm going to cover these, these a little bit. And then I'm going to turn the uh, lamp you don't want to overcook the lamb. Depending, it depends what you, uh, how you like it. It all depends. I like it uh, medium well to well. So as you can see, it looks really good. Actually, it's a little, it's a little too, uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of like a little burn. So I'm going to lower the flame further. I actually increase the speed of the fan, so that's why I think. That's why the, uh, what do you call the, uh, the, uh, uh, the alarm, I mean, smoke detector alarm didn't go up. All right, in the meanwhile, I, I'm gonna garnish it with a little bit of, um, you know, cilantro I have, I'm gonna chop these. But before that, I need to clean the table because I use that for meat. Every time you use it for meat, make sure to uh, wash it. The, uh, wash the uh, the cutting board. I don't know if you guys heard me. So wash the let's take a look at our um, our lamb to make sure that uh, lamb chops to make sure that everything is good. Looks really good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use it for maybe another uh, two minutes and then it should be ready. Right? And meanwhile, the wedges, wedges are basically ready. Um, and uh, uh, basically, uh, maybe one minute they're ready. And the pasta should be ready in, uh, should be boiled enough in, I would say, two minutes. All right, so I should be back. Okay, everyone, so basically, I turned off the heat on the lamp, as you can see. Uh, it's ready, the lamb is ready, uh, looks really good, um, on both sides as you can see, nice color, uh, amazing nice color, really, so uh, this is ready, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, also turn off the uh, uh, flame on the veggies, because the veggies should are ready too, there you go. And then, um, as you can see, I already drained pasta. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add, um, I'm going to add the sauce, a little bit of sauce, not too much. Uh, the pizza, pizza sauce, which is really good. I actually, I actually like it with pasta. So as you can see, that's it. Ah, wee, wow, amazing. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this a little bit just a little bit so i'm going to turn on the heat again on very low on very low so and then just mix this right as you can see 
looks amazing. And into this, I'm gonna add a little bit of water, just a, just a little bit, to thin it. And the water I can use from wedges, as you can see, wedges look good. So I'm gonna use that water a little bit, just a little bit. That's good enough. I, oh shit, the handle was too freaking hot. Oh shit, this, this freaking thing. All right, as you can see, looks good, pasta looks good. Okay, so into this, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to, um, I'm going to add a little bit of cheese, a little bit of cheese, uh, the same cheese I used last time, which is the, uh, which is the Mancheco sheep, sheep milk cheese, right? As you can see, amazing, right? Just give me a second. Just give me a second. I'm gonna turn, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, turn off the flame on pasta. Okay, I'm, I turned off the flame, and then I'm gonna just uh, use a little bit of this cheese. As you can see, you can see it looks amazing, right? I'm gonna chop this into small pieces, small pieces, right there, right there, small as possible, small as possible, so that it's spread out in the entire pasta, right? I mean, you can you can use, use the cheese that you like, but I like this cheese. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to basically just sprinkle this on top of pasta, right? So uh, basically everything is ready. Uh, just give me one second so I, you know, I do the garnishing and all that. All right. All right. All right, everyone. Uh, our dish is ready to be served. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, pasta, as you can see. So the amount of pasta that you like. First, mix it a little bit. All right. All right. So we go. That's some amazing pasta as you can see oh, I think that should be good enough right and maybe a little more a little more as you can see looks amazing right and then the lamb as you can see however you want to garnish it I mean uh, however you want to have it so I, I usually do this something like this Right, something like that, looks good. And then our veggies, as you can see, our veggies, our, uh, uh, steamed veggies, uh, that should be good enough. Right, yeah, those two should be good enough, right? All right, and then on top of that, we're gonna garnish it with a little bit of uh, cilantro and uh, cubes, right? Cilantro and cubes here. I like cilantro because I, I, I like the smell of it. Cilantro or coriander, if you're English speaking, I mean, from England, or from, uh, you know, from countries which were colonized by the Brits, right? Okay, so there we go. It looks amazing. Mm. So, as you can see, looks amazing. So um, try it at home, um, uh, you know, in your own style and uh, see how that turns out. All right, I'll, uh, um, I'll speak to you all. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching uh, the, uh, the amazing cooking. Cooking is always amazing. Uh, so I'll see you all next time.